This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Tim Hankowicz, back for another season. I'm here. With Orchestra Iowa. Wonderful. Thank you, you for having me. Did you have a good summer? I had a great summer. Re-entry is going to be a little tough. Yeah. Literally you, and figuratively. Yes. You spent some time in Brazil, and I know we got to get to talking about Bruce Morchester, yeah. but tell me one thing that was your favorite thing about uh, Brazil oh, when you were well, there. This was really great. Uh, um, I took two musicians from Orchestra Iowa down with me to Belo Horizonte which is a city of six million people. I mean, it's huge. And we visited an inner city music school. And uh, they played for us. We played for them. We gave them gifts of instruments. It was a really great sort of bonding ambassadorial moment. And um, it's really interesting. What I learned is that there is such hunger and desire for music there. And of course, resources are, are scarce. Um, what is ironic when we come back to this country of plenty, that if you work for it, there are resources. Um, but sometimes, because we have things so good, it's hard to find people with a fire in the belly. Mm -hmm. And that's really uh, quite an eye-opener. And uh, we can do better. Well, speaking of fire, yes, we lift off yes, on indeed. Saturday night. Nice with, pivot. I like that. <laughs> with Bruce Morchestra. Yes. And the theme is space. Space. The final frontier. I've heard yeah, that. I, I've heard about that. Yeah. Listen, this is going to be the coolest, the best, the nerdiest, the geekiest yeah. program we've ever had. I think you need to let your nerd flag fly high and proud for this program. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it, of course, many there are many, uh, you know, space-themed sure. pieces of music that right. have been around, you know, throughout the history. Sure. We've always, yep. you know, always looked at the sky sure. and yep. been inspired by the sky. Yes. But you're right. You all are We're diving full into Doubling, the... tripling, quadrupling, quintupling down on... on... the nerddom. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we begin with the music of Star Trek. Yeah, and for people who don't know me... Um, Ever since I became a conductor, which was <laughs> how many years ago, I have a good luck charm on my suspenders, and it is a Star Trek communicator pin. I've always worn it for every concert that I've ever conducted. You're going to wear it on the outside this time? I just might. I think so. <laughs> just because you got to. It, it's the uniform. The Star Trek yeah. pin will get to be yeah. out on the lapel oh, for exactly. this one. Uh, we're also performing two movements from Mozart's Symphony Number no. 41, which is nicknamed the Jupiter. For obvious reasons, because later in the program, we're playing Holst's The Planets. And The pla Planets, uh, uh, composed in 1916, was the piece that basically every science fiction soundtrack is based on. Uh, and, and so it, that's really sort of the flagship of the evening. We end with Star Wars. You have to keep the two universes as far apart as, pro as possible, or there may be a quantum singularity that something bad could happen. That, that, that's right. You, yep. could, you could have a complete phase cancellation. <laughs> Uh, but what I'm most excited about is that we uh, partnered with the Boston Pops, Kansas City Symphony, and Indianapolis Symphonies to commission a work, uh, a work called From the Earth to the Moon and Beyond by a composer named James Beckel that requires two narrators and orchestra and video. And uh, so that's going to be... And oh my gosh, where could you have... Okay, uh, boy, if only, if only you could find narrators for this piece mm, who have mm. actually been to space. I wonder if that's possible. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> actually, we do have um, uh, two astronauts joining us, uh, both before the concert, so you can get their picture, your picture taken with them, but they'll also be on stage. We are joined by Joan Higginbotham, who is one of three African-American women who have seen the cosmos, who will also be joined on stage by retired Captain Daniel Burkhart. So we've got two astronauts including a spacesuit uh this they are wearing the spacesuit but you can see the you'll see the on display yeah. yeah they won't be wearing the you know all of this is uh thanks because of our partner for this program collins aerospace uh, they've been just indispensable partners and enthusiastic about this also part of our uh, education initiative to uh, our steam initiative to put arts back into um, uh, technical ed education uh, so that's going to be really uh, exciting. And while we're talking about Collins, you should mention that I know that you are going to do a little recognition of the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Absolutely. And, of course, the connection uh, of Collins Radio Absolutely. to that moon landing. It, people listening to KCCK know this well because we've had right. the retirees on to talk about the, the documentaries sure. and the fact that uh, the reason why we were able to see and hear 
uh, the transmissions from the moon was because of Collins Radio, Absolutely. Which, had, which had the contract for the Apollo communications. You know, in this in this conversation, it sounds like an aside, but in fact, it's a, it's the center point. It's the real reason why we're doing this entire program. Uh, landing on the moon 50 years ago is certainly one of the great achievements of all human history. And yet our area, Collins Radio at the time, is central to that story. And as typical Iowans who don't blow their horns very much about this, this is somewhat forgotten, certainly outside of the state. And I want to honor all the engineers who were indispensable to this incredible project. Uh, And so between the movements of the Mozart Symphony, the Jupiter Symphony, I'm going to be joined on stage with my good friend Phil Jasper, who is the director of mission systems at at, uh, Collins Aerospace. And uh, he's going to be making a presentation recognizing all the, all the great talent that went into making this amazing event happen. Now, there are some activities for the whole family before the concert. You're calling it the Family Steam Day. Yes. Uh, obviously, we have a lot of uh, activities for the family, including seeing the spaceship, uh, spacesuit, and uh, visiting with the astronauts. But there are other activities there. We'll be showing the uh, documentaries that uh, Collins Aerospace has produced about uh, Collins' uh, participation in the, state, in, in the space program. Um, yeah, and we'll have lots of food vendors there, but I also encourage you to bring your own picnic because what Bruce Moore has become so uh, renowned for is people coming up with the most elaborate of lawn picnics and so I can't wait to see that. Well it's been on our calendar for months and months well and you're kind of putting me to work a little bit. Yes of course. A little bit too you won't you won't see me. We'll be hearing you though (laughs) for sure. Uh, Because I you know and and thank you for that because what the highest honor that any geek can get is to be able to do the captain speech from the beginning of Star Trek. Space. The final yeah. frontier. And, yes. and, <laughs> and, I, and I sense that if you could have figured out a way to do it yourself, you would have. I would have, but I'm a little busy at the moment. So, yeah, yeah you've got to check this concert out. So the gates open at 5 uh, for, for the family steam day. And also there's uh, some stargazing going on, uh, especially when, obviously, when the, when the sun comes down. And it's going to be a very clear night, so that'll be spectacular. Um, so the, the gates open up at 5 for the entire family for all these activities. And then the concert starts at 7 uh, sharp. Um, so I should have used military time. Maybe. Yes. I don't yeah. know. 1900 hours. <laughs> Be there at 1900 hours. Thank you for doing the math for me. <laughs> so, well, this is, this is always a highlight. It's such a, it's yeah. always a, a very fun way to kick off the season. You guys always pull out all the stops this to make is, it a memorable night. I got to tell you, I'm really excited. I mean, we've had many memorable nights at Bruce Moore. This is probably certainly the most, um, uh, I think the, I think it's the best. It's it's certainly the most far-reaching in terms of the uh, partnerships we've drawn upon to make this all happen. It is certainly the, I think the most uh, widely wide in its appeal. I just I'm just so excited about it, and so I hope a lot of people come and and. If you haven't been to Bruce Moore, come for, to this one because you'll finally know what it's all about. It's one of the most exciting uh, cultural events of the year in our area. Bring your lawn chair, a blanket, uh, your picnic if you want to, or buy food on site. Telescope if you have one. Uh, BYOT, bring your yeah. own telescope. <laughs> It's Bruce Orchestra coming up Saturday, September 14th, and tickets available at your website? Yes, uh, at orchestraiowa.org, also artsiowa.com, or you can call us at 1-800-369-TUNE, T-U-N-E. Tim Hankowicz from Orchestra Iowa, and uh, we'll get the season off to a roaring start with to Bruce the season Orchestra. And beyond! <laughs> And then come back in a couple of weeks, I and think... we move indoors for uh, the great uh, inside concert That's right. season. Looking forward right. to that, too. Thanks, Wonderful. Tim. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most Thursdays and Fridays at 1020, or download the podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture, or using your favorite podcast app. I'm Dennis Green.